Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to show you five utilities that I regularly find that I keep going back to on my iPhone. And some of that has to do with cross compatibility. I use my iPhone, sometimes I use Android phones and Windows and Mac, and these will go across most of them. Almost every app here will go across those different platforms depending on what it is. Now the first one I actually partnered with is LastPass to bring you this video. So LastPass was nice enough to sponsor this and we'll go in and check it out. Now password managers are really helpful and I've been using them for years and LastPass stores your information securely. You can see I logged right in there with my thumbprint and I've set up some different dummy accounts here so I don't show you my personal information, but just so you get an idea of how this works. Now they also have a website as well and on the website you can download and get LastPass for free. You can try it out. They also have a premium version, but you can try it out. It's got a browser plugin. It even works on everything from iPhone, Android phone, and even Windows phone is still supported. So the way this works is we have a couple different things here. So we have email, so Outlook or Hotmail, we have website, we have Facebook and Twitter, and it puts a nice little symbol here. Now, if we want to add a password, we just hit this button and say we want to add a Google or an Amazon password or LinkedIn, any of these, or just a custom site. So if I want to add Amazon, I'll add Amazon. It, it understands where the sign in is and we'll just do test and user. Now that's not a very secure password. So if we want a better password, we can actually generate a new password and we can adjust the length, show more settings. If we want it really long, we'll just, I guess, adjust it to about 15 characters and then we'll hit save generated password. And now we'll save this. Now, if we want to go to Amazon and actually use this, we can do that a couple different ways. And again, this saves across devices. So once it's saved here, it's saved on your browser and everywhere else you might use it. We can copy our username, password, or we can just launch it and go right into it. So if we launch it, it opens a secure browser window. And this is going to be wrong because there's not an account, but you get the idea. It logs in, brings you right into Amazon, and you can use it here. If you don't want to use this and you want to use Safari or Chrome, you can just copy the password and paste it that way. Now, if we go back to the vault, we have some notes. And in notes, we've got different notes that are relevant to whatever you're doing. So if you hit plus, it's got a bunch of different things that you can put in here, your driver's license, your instant messenger, all sorts of information specific to what you want, but maybe healthcare, for example. We'll view this and we can fill in any information, our healthcare policy numbers, all that stuff we can just keep here securely and no one can access it that we don't allow to access it. So what I mean by that is if I go to tools, we have emergency access so we can share that. We can also see how secure our passwords are. We can also put the security extension in Safari as well so that we can just use it right from Safari and then we can just quickly generate a password. So I can grab everything right from Safari itself. Now, if I go to settings, you'll see we have a couple different things. We can modify our LastPass account, we have actions, and we can even get help from here. But we'll go back to the vault and then we have form fill. And you can create multiple versions, but let's view this. This is me. So first name, last name, country, and time zone. You can edit this information, add more or less, whatever you'd like. Gender, social security number, address, city, county, state, all sorts of different information. Bank information, credit cards, and it's all securely kept encrypted, so you'll never have that information taken advantage of. So we'll hit cancel, we'll get out of this, we'll hit close, and we'll go back to the tools. So like I said, you can share this with someone else. So if you want to allow people to see this that you trust, maybe your spouse or a significant other or friend, you might want to let them use some password that you might have or people who trust me. You can share this across different platforms. The next one that I use that's cross-platform is Pocket Casts. Pocket Casts is a utility to manage podcasts. And while this may not be a typical utility, I find it very helpful because not only does it allow you to add and remove podcasts, subscribe to them, it syncs between your different devices. So you'll see a new one just came in from the, the talk show with John Gruber. And maybe we want to find another one. I like Gimlet Media. We'll wait for this to load. And maybe we want to subscribe to every little thing. If I subscribe here, I can go back. And now it's at the bottom. 
I can go into here and then I have individual options. And again, this carries between different devices. You simply set up an account and it syncs between those. So maybe I only want it to download one episode. I can go into my podcast settings. You'll see I have auto download. I can turn that on or off, keep the last two episodes, newest to oldest. And maybe I know that every podcast has ads at the beginning. Maybe I want to skip it or it has an intro that's five seconds. I don't normally listen to. I can just skip it and save it and it will start at that particular point. The other thing that works really well with this is pocket cast is Apple CarPlay and Android auto compatible. So it works on either platform there as well. It's really nice and very simple. If we go back here, you can just see all of the different things that you might have in progress audio. These are just audio podcasts. You can see video downloaded. It's really nice and very, very comprehensive. There's a lot of great features within here in 30 second skip when you're playing it, sign in, all sorts of things so that you can sync between your different devices. I find it very helpful and it's something I use every single day. The next utility I use often is to keep track of expenses. And again, this is cross platform. It's on a web browser. So on any computer, you can use it on iPhone or Android and there's a free and paid version. I use the free version of Expensify and this is a way to keep track of any expenses you might have. So maybe you have a business and you bought a new computer for that business and you need to keep that as an expense or you needed some ink for a printer, things like that. Even mileage, you can track that and it's got some neat features. So if I hit the plus button, I can smart scan, which will scan a receipt and then input that information for you automatically. It's really nice. Very simple. You can record your expense. So if I go to expense, I can take a picture of whatever it is or a receipt, put the merchant's name, maybe Apple in this case, uh, we'll say 99 cents. Maybe it was an app. Probably not. We'll say app. And then we can select categories and you have different categories as well, depending on what it is. So we'll just pick other and billable reimbursable and we can tag it or link it to a report. We'll just hit save and then it saves within this app. You can generate reports, all sorts of things, but the easiest way to use it is actually just hit the camera button, take a picture of your receipt and you're done. You come back later and then you track it later here and it tells you the different things you can do. You can log in online, see them, download a report, and it makes it really easy to do your taxes at the end of the year, anything like that. Or maybe you just need to keep track of mileage for work. It's an easy way to do that and really pretty nice. It's just something I've used for many years and keep coming back to over and over. The next utility I find that I use from time to time when I need to troubleshoot that I've used for years, and it's also cross-platform with a Mac, is called iNet. So if I go into iNet, you'll see that it says Drobo 5N. I have a Drobo on my network and this is seeing that I can scan here. It's a scanning network. It's scanning the IPs and now I have some pretty strict security set up, so it's not going to see all of the things on my network, but you'll see I have a bunch of different services running on here. So it says seven services. If I go here, you'll see Bonjour services. So these are all services that my Drobo can run and act as a NAS, and this is seeing all that information. So not only do I have its IP address, uh, it doesn't show my Mac address to pr protect my privacy, which is appreciated, but it sees it as an Apple TV. It's got iPod and iPod, iPhone and iPod touch remote controllable, all sorts of things are built into this. And it's a really simple utility. And I think it's $8 for the full version and worth it. If you need some more deep information about this, but the free version is nice. You can check it out. If you have a less secured network, you'll see every device on that. So maybe you have 20 devices and you want to see, you think maybe someone else is on there. You can see what's on your actual network. Now, the final utility app I wanted to show you is more of a video filming app and it's something I use a lot, but it's a utility I find very helpful when I want to record with an iPhone and that's filmic pro. This is a paid app. It's also on Android and it has some really great pro features. So if I bring my iPhone six plus here, you'll see we have some different features. Now, if I go here, we can see the different color temperatures. We can adjust our white balance. This can get really in depth depending on how much you want to use it. You can put it in full auto, but you also have all these different options. If I want to adjust the color temperature, I can do that. I can do auto white balance. You'll see we have some different information here. We also have temporal noise reduction. Uh, these are paid features that they actually added to the app afterwards because they're pretty significant. We also have zebra 
here to show you uh, different different focus and all, all sorts of features. It's really nice. Uh, we have focus locks, focus peaking. We can adjust our settings for frames. It's got a lot of really impressive features that you see on more expensive cameras and you don't normally get here. So if I tap on this here, for example, we can change everything from shutter speed to zoom to white balance to focus. It's really impressive and we can change frame rates to frame rates that aren't available on the phone by default. So if I go into frame rate, you'll see we can go from 24 to 120. Maybe I want to bump this up uh, 120 or maybe we want to change it to 4K or 4K 60 under resolution. You'll see We'll wait for it here, 4K 2160p, uh, filmic quality, filmic extreme, and it records it at a better, higher bit rate than what you get on your iPhone. You get 100 megabits per second. You can change it to different aspect ratios. It's, it's really pretty impressive what you can do with this as far as all the different features. And when Apple makes those ads that they say they recorded with an iPhone, they're usually using this app to do it. And it's, it's pretty impressive and you can take still photos as well, but it's a great app to check out. And if you have an Android phone, it's available there and it's just as good there as well. The last app I wanted to mention is MoneyWiz. MoneyWiz is also cross compatible with different platforms, Android, iPhone, Windows, and Mac. There's all different versions. There is a free and paid version, and it's worth checking out to manage your different finance issues. So maybe you have a budget you want to set up. You can set that up in there. Maybe you want to use it just as a checkbook. You can do that. I have a full separate video and I'll link that in the description below. Thanks again to LastPass for sponsoring this video. I'll leave a link to each one of these apps in the description below. So be sure to check them out, especially all the free ones like LastPass, Pocket Casts, all the other ones, and many of them have unlockable features that just make them that much better. They're just things I keep coming back to and I've used for years. I'd love to hear what you have to say about them in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.